Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The Indian automobile industry has come a long way. The HM Ambassador was the first mass-produced car in the country. It was a very simple car design with manual steering. The car was powered by a 1500cc engine. The Ambassador did not have side mirrors, no power brakes, no stick shift gears, and no seat belts. But that is a story of when the automobile industry of India was just beginning. Indian cars have come a long way in terms of technology and safety since the first Ambassador. This graph perfectly explains the situation of car-related accidents in India for the past 50 years. The blue line represents the total number of deaths due to accidents per 10,000 cars, and the red line indicates the density of vehicles per kilometer of road. If you look at the graph, you'd notice that even though the number of cars on the roads has increased by a huge margin, the number of accidents has decreased drastically over the years. This is because of the increasingly stringent safety ratings that car manufacturers strive to follow. We've made a dedicated video on how safety tests are done on cars. Don't forget to check it out. The links are in the description below. Now back to our video. To determine how safe your car is, there are many factors like the build quality, the design of the car, the airbags used, the location of airbags, the seat belt mechanism and much more. In this video, we'll exclusively be talking on how the airbags in our cars work and keep us safe. A consumer car can have a maximum of six sets of airbags in it to protect the passengers and the driver. Many cars only have a driver and front passenger airbags. Newer cars are equipping airbags for the backseat passengers along the side and rear windows to protect the occupants from shrapnel. So how do these airbags work? Airbags are normally made up of nylon. The bags are folded and loaded into respective compartments. The bags also have a small outlet opening to inflate the air when it serves the purpose. In the event of a crash, pressurized gas is instantly filled into the nylon bags to protect the occupants. The airbags are generally developed to act as a supplementary system designed to work along with the seat belts. The airbag system normally includes a sensor, airbag inflator module, airbag and spring system to open the module. Two types of sensors are used in detecting a crash. Old cars used a magnetic gold ball sensor. The sensors have a small magnetic ball that is held by a permanent magnet. At the opposite end of the ball, two gold-plated electrical contacts are present. When the car experiences a crash or is brought to a sudden halt, the steel ball is released from the magnet due to the initial forces. The ball then comes in contact with the gold pads and closes the circuit and activates the entire airbag deployment system. This sensor is normally located at the front of the car and is bolted to the radiator cradle. But this can vary from one manufacturer to another manufacturer. Most modern cars use a type of integral sensor which is present in the inflator module itself. These sensors have an accelerometer built into the circuit module. The accelerometer measures the rate of deceleration and determines whether the airbags should be deployed or not. Once the sensor detects that a crash has occurred, a signal is sent to the airbag inflator module. Almost all vehicles use a type of inflator called the solid inflators, which undergo a decomposition reaction to generate large quantities of nitrogen gas in a very short span of time. Solid inflators use sodium azide pellets. When the crash sensors detect a crash, a current charge is sent to a heating element called the squib. The squib heats the sodium azide pellets in the inflator module. This rapid generates nitrogen gas which is used to fill the airbag. It is vital that the airbags be deployed as fast as possible. The sensors are able to detect the collision within 16 milliseconds of it occurring and the airbag is deployed within 40 milliseconds of the collision. As I just mentioned a few minutes ago, the airbags are not a standalone system. They work along with the seat belt system to protect the occupants in time of a collision. We'll be covering how the seat belts work in our future videos. Stay tuned. If you're someone who's really interested in simulations and designing, do check out our courses on crashworthiness analysis using Hypermesh and Radios. Here, we'll be giving you real industry-related projects that you'll be able to work on. If you want to check out the course, the link is in the description below. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Until the next one, bye.